Um, there are some metaphysical teachings that have described the year 2012 as the eye of the storm for mass consciousness. The phrase, the eye of the storm, can be defined as the area of calm in the center of a tornado, hurricane, or cyclone, vortex. Or the phrase can be defined as a temporary, peaceful time amidst more trouble yet to come. So from an Abraham perspective, is the year 2012 the eye of, of the storm for mass consciousness? Today is the focal point where all that is non-physical is focused upon your time-space reality for the powerful and important experience of enjoying the new explosion of new ideas in this moment. And every moment of every day for all eternity will be that and nothing more than that. And in 2013, we'll have the same conversation. In 2014, we'll have the same conversation. In 2015, in other words, it's someone wanting to explain getting parts of it from this non physical awareness of the power of this now. What people are beginning to feel all around your planet is the power of focus. We've been saying that these are the best of times, and they're also the worst of times because they are the most of times. So those who are focusing in alignment with their grid are just having the exhilaration and are experiencing the benefit, not just of what's going on on your planet today, but of everything that has been going on from the beginning of all consciousness. You see this power and clarity and intelligence and love that we all are is as a result of the culmination of all that we have lived. We just want our physical friends to consciously acknowledge the existence of this expanded version of life experience and to allow themselves the benefit of it in the here and now. So as this energy is moving faster because the contrast is greater, that means that when you're in alignment with who you really are, your experience is dramatically enhanced. And when you're out of alignment with who you really are, your experience is dramatically enhanced. In other words, uh, it's just more obvious than it has ever been before. We've been saying for a long while that those who have and those who have not are going to be more exaggerated because you get what you think about. And it does not matter how hard you try to reorganize everything in terms of physical action. The laws of the universe are so powerful that it returns to its vibrational place. The only thing that will change the experience for someone is changing their vibration. And if you don't know consciously how to change your vibration, if you don't have a starting point, if you don't have a central point, if you've not been made aware of what your emotions mean, if you don't understand about the grid, if you don't know who you really are, if you don't know how you really feel, if you don't know what negative emotion even means, if you don't have the ability that when you have negative emotion to move yourself from it, if you haven't figured out how to move the energy of your being, then you're getting beat up pretty good by the contrast of your time and place. And we understand why someone would say, Hey, this cannot go on much longer, but it will. It is our promise to you. Thank you.